Thanks, Garrett. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to um, see, let's say, maybe three things to understand um, the, the answer. You know, one is the mental health and then the second is the mental illness or mental disorder. And then we invite scripture to, you know, expand our view on, on those two things. Um, if you see the uh, World Health Organization, uh, the definition, um, it says, you know, the state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope up with the normal stress of life and can work productively, fruitfully and is able to make contribution to uh, his or her community. So it just focuses on the subjective well-being, self-efficacy, you know, autonomy, competence and um, uh, self-actualization. Uh, but it's also bring the community uh, making those connections. So even, you know, for in midst of uh, COVID um, right now, um, I may be feeling, you know, day uh, sad, but that doesn't mean that I have a mental uh, disorder. Um, so uh, so we need to understand uh, the the it's, it's going to occur in the continuum of uh, what I'm feeling today. Uh, sad or uh, you know depressed or uh, low mood it doesn't mean that I have a mental health issue um, so so that's that's very important for us to understand the the second um, you know uh, let's let's imagine if I stop talking or eating uh, you know I suddenly uh, lost my interest in talking with my wife my kids I am withdrawn um, let's say not for one or two days, but uh, more than a week, uh, more than two weeks, more than a month. Then, then at this point, we are functionally, what we are looking at is a functional disability. So at this point, we say there is a mental uh, disorder has occurred. It's like, uh, you know, I have a pain in my bone versus I have a broken bone. Um, uh, so let's use some words to, uh, you know, understand this. Uh, so it can we can say sad mood, but that's not what it is. It's unusually sad mood and excessive fear or worry. Uh, so uh, when we talk about unusual and excessive, we are talking about something which is affecting our function. Um, but but let's see, um, you know, the third point is let's let's hear from um, Harvard uh, psychopathologist Richard McNally. What he says is there is a range of human emotions and struggles uh, that is considered normal. Mental illness occurs on a continuum, he says, uh, with no clear natural boundary between a non-disorder and disorder. So, so it's important for us to know that there is a continuum uh, from the distress to disorder. So we won't, we won't, sometimes we won't be able to say, here is the day it all started, okay? Uh, but, but we, let's invite scripture to tell us a little bit more uh, we are not, when we talk about mental health, uh, we are focused on mind, you know, our brain. Um, but scripture gives us the richer view of what is mental health, mental illness under the broader category of suffering. And it engages with the person, you know, our life. Uh, it doesn't look at me as a diagnosis. It look as me, looks at me as a person and uh, my life mediated through brain, through heart. So the primary focus is uh, as a person, so person living in a personal, interpersonal universe as a God related being. So that is where scripture kind of expands the view from mental health, mental disorder to look at us as this uh, person living in God's environment. Um, I think it's over to me. I don't think I have that much more to say because Raja has just laid a really helpful foundation. But to pick up on maybe two things to say that um, if we're looking at mental health as a form of suffering, um, Scripture tells us that all of suffering is, is important to God and therefore is important to one another. Like he cares about our suffering. And so we want to care about one another's suffering. And if we're remembering the continuum that, that Raja was saying, it means that we can identify and understand maybe we haven't had the exact same experience as someone else, but because we may have had anxiety before an exam, we have a sense of anxiety that someone may be experienced that is more prolonged, that is um, covering more of life. Um, and it can be for many different things like sadness or or grief or different things, but it gives us an opportunity to be a part of um, one another's experiences um, and to be sharing that together.
Thank you.